This is where you'll most often find artist John Crane, working in the art studio inside his home, nestled in the Black Hills. I find myself, you know, getting more and more engrossed with my work. But being a professional artist in South Dakota wasn't John Crane's original path. He was born in New Jersey, and though he always loved to draw and paint and even majored in art in college, he went on to join the Air Force instead. In 1972, Crane was stationed at Ellsworth Air Force Base, where he flew KC-135 Stratotankers. When his stint with the Air Force was over, John had to decide what to do next. I could have gone to the airlines, as uh, most of the guys I flew with did. It wasn't really what I wanted to do. Uh, and so I was drawn to the art, and I you know, jumped in with both feet. And, you know, almost 40 years later, here I am. Crane had loved the Black Hills ever since he visited them with his grandparents when he was a boy. Now he felt the South Dakota landscape would be perfect for painting. At that time I was really intrigued with the, the farms, the ranches, the wide open places. It seems Crane's passion for creating art is genetic. His great-great-grandfather, Alfred Woud, was a professionally trained artist whose illustrations of the Civil War appeared in Harper's Weekly. Crane's great-grandfather, Milton J. Burns, was a sailor and artist who put to canvas his experiences on the high seas. Despite his artistic ancestry, not everyone foresaw John Crane's success as a professional artist. Even at going back and seeing my college professors after I'd been doing this for a while, uh, they couldn't believe that I was making a living at it. Of course, at that time, I really wasn't making much of a living but I thought I was. Crane found true inspiration in the beauty of South Dakota. He and his wife Gail built a home near the historic town of Mystic along the Mickelson Trail. Now known as the Mystic Traveler, Crane combs the countryside looking for images that strike a chord in his heart and come to life through his paintbrush. If I could take myself back in time, with a camera of course, to a time I would probably like to go back to about 1940 because that was the time in the United States when farms were the way I envisioned farms. John Crane has a special place in his heart for days gone by. That's why you'll often feel a stir of nostalgia when looking at his artwork. I think a lot of my paintings will be an example of history of something that's no longer around. Crane has tried several different mediums in his painting, like oil and acrylic, but he settled on watercolor when he found it could make his paintings, especially the winter scenes, seem more lifelike. My pieces are very time consuming. Uh, the smallest, simplest pieces might take 10 or 15 hours. Uh, the more complex pieces can take anywhere from 100 to 300 hours. Crane typically paints from photographs. He takes between 15,000 and 20,000 digital photos a year. He prints them up and then works from them in his studio. Earlier on, I, I would paint had up to maybe half a dozen pieces at a time. Now when I paint a piece, I concentrate only on that piece. When those pieces are finished, you'll often find them on display here at the John Crane Gallery on Main Street, Hill City. Here, visitors from South Dakota and across the world can purchase their own pieces of rural history as seen through the eyes of John Crane. The piece John painted for A Night on the Prairie features a farm that looks much like the homesteads of days gone by. He hopes this painting will resonate with all who see it. Well, I think, think everybody looks back at when they were younger. I think I bring, bring and I like to do the nostalgic part of the paintings. While Crane often pays homage to the past, he also keeps an eye to the future, especially when it comes to our youth. He appreciates the work of the South Dakota Farmers Union Foundation's education programs and believes they play an important role in molding the next generation. They're going to be the leaders of the future or the voters of the future and they've got to be able to make smart decisions. John Crane is happy with the decision he made 40 years ago, a transition from pilot to painter. I asked if he had any intention to stop painting and enjoy retirement. I hope not. I don't foresee it, but um, I sure hope to be able to continue for many years. So instead, the mystic traveler will continue his search for surviving pieces of history in this great state of South Dakota. Pieces of history that will live on forever through John Crane's paintbrush. I really 
truly enjoy what I'm doing. You know, I feel blessed that I've been able to make a living at this. And uh, I've got lots and lots of stuff yet to paint. <laughs>